So last September, Pixar released a series of Cars mini-episodes on Disney Plus called Cars on the Road. Now, I was disappointed by Monsters at Work, and a series of shorts about Lightning McQueen and Mater going on a road trip wasn't my thing. But after a couple of months, I decided to give the show a chance, and it is a show that exists. Like, it's not terrible, not as bad as Cars 2 at least, and there's nothing I really inherently hate. Just not amazing and didn't leave any lasting impact on me or the Cars franchise and characters as a whole. It just seems like one of those shows that I'm gonna forget ever existed, but it's not like there aren't anything I liked about it. L let's just get into it. Now, Cars on the Road is a 9 mini episode TV series on Disney+, Plus, and each short is around 6 to 8 minutes, excluding the credits. Basically, Mater is attending his sister's wedding, and Lightning McQueen decides to go with him, and this shows basically Mater and Lightning McQueen going on a road trip to Mater's sister's wedding, hence the title, Cars on the Road. This is an episodic show, each episode is short and don't really connect with each other except for this monster truck named Ivy, I guess, but she gets kicked out of the show on her third episode, so whatever. The character don't really grow, there's no ongoing theme or arc throughout the series except for some really small arcs during some episodes like Lightning McQueen learning to not be scared of clowns. The show is just Lightning McQueen and Mater doing stuff and some of the concepts for the episodes are interesting and fun. First of all, the animation is great and stunning. It's just as good as the mainstream Cars films and the rest of the Pixar catalog. It doesn't look like a cheap direct-to-video spin-off, there are some fun, unique sequences with great visuals, camera work, and directing. The, the colors are vibrant, the background looks realistic, the animation looks smooth and finished. The texture and lighting looks real, it just looks good. And the animation is one of, if not the strongest point of this show. Now I'm gonna give my short review of each of the nine episodes. Episode 1, the dinosaur one. This is a pretty weak start for the show. The first half of this episode is setting up the show and Mater telling everyone about the wedding. Already halfway through the episode, we go to this random dinosaur park. Wait, dinosaurs exist in this world somehow? What? what? Anyways. And there's a dream sequence where Mater and Lightning McQueen are back in the dinosaur period and they meet a car version of a T-Rex and then Mater wakes up and the episode is over. Wow, this really got me hooked into the show. The dream sequence had a really cool stop motion like animation style. So I guess that was cool. Since we had to set up the show in the first half, the second half wasn't that good. And this is a pretty weak introduction to the show. Episode 2, The Haunted Hotel episode, is a step up from the first one. Basically, Mater and McQueen go to this sketchy haunted hotel. At first, Mater is scared, but he just ends up sleeping while McQueen is terrified and goes out of their room. And starts encountering creepy stuff and ghosts. I like the horror aspects and Haunted Hotel vibe. The visuals and directing, especially near the end of the episodes, are great. I like this gag where Lightning McQueen is trying to turn around and run, but he keeps on hitting the wall. Come on. Yeah, I did have some fun with this episode. It did feel kind of forgettable and like a generic haunted hotel story, but whatever. Episode 3, the Salt Flat episode, is also pretty fun. I like seeing these prototype cars and designs. The Salt Flats itself looks super realistic, and the part where Mater starts blasting off was cool. Mater also dies in this episode. And there's this good gag where he has to open his car door to get back into his mortal self. There's this interesting moment where Mater says to McQueen that he has always wanted to go faster than fast. Mater, why are you doing this? I've always wanted to go faster and fast. Shoot, right now I got a pretty good shot at it. There could have been a nice overall arc for Mater wanting to become better than McQueen in this show, but no. Episode 4, the Bigfoot episode. I like the camera work and shaking cam when McQueen starts looking for Bigfoot. Ivy was a fine character. I liked her introduction to the show as this monster truck who didn't like to crush cars and demolition derbies and instead finds purpose in the circus in the next episode. She does seem like a rehash of Cruz, even her personality, but she's fine. I like the part where Ivy made her and McQueen scares the hunters away. Other than that, this episode was it wasn't that memorable. 
episode 5 to start this episode. This is one of the weaker episodes. Again, I like the lighting and colors, especially during the performance scenes. Lightning McQueen has a fear of clowns, so now throughout this episode, he has to learn to not be. That's a cliche arc. Uh, there's a plane in this episode. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have anything to say about this episode. I'm glad that they made Ivy join the circus at the end of the episode. Until episode 7, which I'll get into later. Episode 6, the truck episode. So Mater and Lightning McQueen goes to this gas station and the trucks just start a musical number for like n no reason. The song itself was fine I guess, but I think that the visuals and sequences carries this episode. The colors looks extremely vibrant and I like the mixing of 2D and 3D. There's some cool visual effects but other than that, this episode was just a musical number. This is the shortest episode in the entire show and there's really no story here but it looks good so whatever. Episode 7, the movie episode. Mater and McQueen go into this movie set and they start acting. Lightning McQueen isn't that good at acting while everyone likes Mater. There's this good moment where Mater says that he never gets to be better than McQueen at anything. Thing. Lightning, you're good at everything. You gotta leave a few leftovers for the rest of us. Other than that, I enjoyed the energy of this episode, but I can't forget this show for bringing back Ivy and saying that she quit the circus to be in this movie. What was the point of the ending of the circus episode then? She was perfectly fine, but nope, you had to bring her back in for no reason at all and undo the fact that she had found her place in life in the circus. What? Episode 8 is probably my favorite episode of the show. In this episode, Mater and McQueen find themselves captured by freaking road warriors. Then they're supposed to like fight to the death. Then they find themselves in the middle of a brawl between these two factions. What, what is happening? I like the dark vibes and energy this episode gives. The part where McQueen and Mater escape the brawl had some really great directing. This is just a fun episode and I wish it was a bit longer. And now we get to episode 9, the finale. And to be honest, I didn't really like it that much. So Mater and McQueen finally make it to the wedding and they meet Cruz. Like, I enjoyed Cruz in Cars 3, but she feels so forced into this show. She's the cousin of Mater's sister's fiance. Like, what? Can, can you at least try more show? She also seems like she isn't in touch with McQueen even though McQueen is her racing captain. Anyways, Mater reunites with her sister, Mato, and they don't really like each other. But after an off-screen therapy session with Cruz, they don't hate each other anymore. I mean, I like that speech that Mater makes at the wedding. That was pretty heartfelt. And the sequence where Mato and Mater are battling each other was fun, I guess. But this was just a disappointing and weak finale to this show. So that was all 9 episodes of Cars on the Road, and what did I feel about this show overall? Uh, like I said, the animation is amazing and some sequences are really creative and unique. Mater is surprisingly likable, not anything like him in Cars 2. I also like Lightning McQueen's and Mater's friendship. I laughed a couple of times and some of the concepts are pretty interesting and fun. But I feel like most of these episodes are just too short to do something great with their premise. I mean, each episode is only like 6 to 8 minutes long. In my opinion, it would have been better if this was an hour long TV special and it only focused on 1 to 3 of the concepts. I like the Road Warrior episode, but it just felt too short. The episodes also don't connect and you can watch episode 2 to 8 in any order and it wouldn't affect anything. Each episode doesn't really move forward the plot other than that, they're getting closer to the wedding, which there's barely any plot. The only plot is that Mater McQueen needs to get to Mater's sister's wedding. I wish that they could have at least gave a series long arc to Mater McQueen. Like in episode 7, Mater says that McQueen is always better than him at, at everything and that he wants to be better than him at something. That could have been a good arc, testing Mater's friendship with McQueen. It did seem like this show was going to do that, but I'm guessing it got thrown away during production. 
This show also makes the Cars world more confusing. Why are there car dinosaurs? Does that mean that there are other car animals like a car lion or a car shark? Do cars have brain? If not, how do these characters know about brains to put in a film? I'm just trying to understand the rules of this freaking universe. They try to build suspense on what Mater's sister is, but it just doesn't work. They introduce Ivy and they give her a good character arc, then bring her back in, in a later episode to undo the whole character dark. Cruz is just forced into the finale for no reason at all. They ditch everyone at Radiator Springs after the first episode. And other than Cruz, we don't really see any other old characters. Some episodes are boring bland and they feel like they were just put in there for filler and to sell more toys. Even the better episodes can feel somewhat forgettable and just non-impactful. I can't say I would rewatch this show again. At the end of the day, Cars on the Road is a show that exists. I like some of the concepts and this show just looks great. But each episode is too short and the episodes don't connect with each other. Some episodes are bland and not good. I just don't feel anything about this show. It's not terrible like Cars 2, but I wouldn't say it reaches the quality of the first and third Cars film. It has some fun elements and can be enjoyable at some times. I don't go into it expecting anything amazing. I went into it not expecting much and it still kind of left me disappointed. Each episode is only 6 to 8 minutes long, so you can check it out if you want. But this is a show that I will probably forget about in a couple of days, and I will most likely not revisit it ever again. If you want to watch it, go for it. But I'm giving Cars on the Road a 4.5 out of 10.